wow, there's so much pollution here, and it smells really bad. Yeah. You know what? Here's some yadam. Oh, thanks, man. <sighs> and that's why E equals MC squared, Natty. Oh my god, that's so confusing. I can't take it. I, I think I'm gonna faint. Oh no, wait, hold on. I've got something for you. Here's some yadom. Oh. good stuff. Frank said he doesn't want me as a roommate anymore. <laughs> it's so sad, I can't breathe. It's okay. <laughs> Have it up your nose. Nasal inhalers, or yadom in Thai, have been around for more than two centuries. That's more than 200 years of herb sniffing. For Thais, yadoms are considered to be a form of self-medication. So instead of grabbing a paracetamol when you're feeling unwell, a Thai person would naturally grab a, you guessed it, yadom. And in case you've never seen one or sniffed one before, here they are. Now I'm gonna do a little sniff test and tell you how I think about each brand. Now the first brand today is by the Boisian brand. Basically, a lot of people like to stick it up their nose, but that's the inappropriate way of doing it. Now the correct way of doing it is to just kindly wave it under your nose and then uh, just allow the aroma to go into your nose. In terms of smell, I would say it smells like a very sharp mint. If I had to describe this in one word, I would say that it smells like toothpaste on steroids. Now, the second product I want to review is this one. It's by the Trabodang or the Red Ribbon brand. Inside, it looks like that. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to take it out of the package. I guess you're just supposed to wave it under your nose like the other one. I'm kind of curious, so let me just open it. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, you definitely should not be doing that. That is the inappropriate way of doing it, but... Mm. I don't know, it smells like your grandma is trying to come up with a recipe of a soup for you because you have the flu and she accidentally dropped a ton of orange peels in it. That's how it smells like. That's not too bad. And last but not least, so I got this off of bloom.express. It's the place where you can get tons of CBD products and I picked this up. I don't know, this smells a little bit like a pile of leaves, a wooden house. I think it smells like a haunted house. Anyway, so my verdict, I would definitely give this brand number one, give this brand number two, and this brand number three, right in the order of my sniff test. Anyways, guys, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, do click that like button. And if you want to see more reviews like this, do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single episode. I'll see you next time. Bye. What? <laughs> mm. <laughs>